Hi everyone, thanks for watching. This is Black Cat Scraps. I've got um, a cute little card planned out for today. I have um, here it is eight and a half by five and a half that I have folded down so now it's five and a half and four and a quarter and this paper is just plain white cardstock from Recollections. Okay, and I have this other pattern paper. I'm not sure who it's by. I'll have to do some research or go back to the store I bought it from. And I'm actually going to glue it down with Tombow Mono mold, um, Permanent Adhesive. I'm going to stick it directly to the card um, buttoned up to the edge on the top and on the left side. And I'm leaving a half inch border on the um, right and the, and the bottom. At least it should be half inch. Um, here I'm going to draw a star. I had tried a, a different type of star. I did a template and just didn't like the shape of it so I'm just going to do my own. And um, I'm going to cut it out and glue it onto some tag board. So this paper, I'm going to have um, dimensionals on it and I need to make sure that it's sturdy. And when I'm cutting it out, I'm just going directly along the star. I'm not leaving a border or anything. Okay, and then I'm going to take the same Tombow Mono and I'm going to run it along the um, half inch border here. I have some stationary paper that I had cut the borders off. Um, it had a nice black and white floral border so I decided to use that and I'm just buttoning it up along the edge of the card um, the other pattern paper. I'm going to trim off my edge here and I left a little extra and I'm going to use my paper trimmer to trim that so it's nice and straight. I left a little extra just because a lot of times when I use um, cardstock and I fold it, I cut it in half and then I fold it between the two cards, they're not always exactly the same size, so I just kind of go, well, let's make sure we have a little extra so that it looks like it they fit together. So I'm going to trim this part off here, and I'm going to use my paper trimmer. And these are DCWVs, all dressed up um, epoxy stickers. And I pulled off the word pretty. Okay, and at um, this point in the steps, um, I'm going to put some foam adhesives on the stars. I've got half sized ones for the legs and then a full size one in the middle. And then I realized that I don't need to stick it down yet because I'm not sure where I'm putting these rub-ons. This one looks like a little green tiara with some sparkly glitter. And there's some um, four-point stars I'm going to cut out here too. And they are also from the All Dressed Up by the same company. Okay, and I'm just going to rub this on into the um, corner here. And I, the tool I'm using is the one that came with the pack, and I flip that over to burnish it a little bit, make sure it, all the edges were down. And these four point stars I'm going to put on these circles here. Okay, and then I need to write in my phrase before I'm going to stick down the star. So I'm going to start off here with a black pen, and I'm going to write the word your as in Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, you are. I'm going to go over it a couple times make sure it's nice and dark, thick and black. And then the next word is such, and I'm going to do this one a little thinner. I'm only going to go over it twice. A 
Okay, and now I'm ready to stick this, the star down because I know where it's going to go now. So it's placed, and then to finish the phrase off, I need to put another letter here, and the pretty is kind of in the way for the final touches, so I need to move it up. So the phrase of the card, if you haven't guessed it yet, is, you're such a pretty bitch. So there's that. So I got my A on there. I'm going to darken it up a little bit with this other pen. And I'm going to use a Sharpie for the bitch part. I don't, don't want to waste time going over it and over it again with um, a pen with a really thin point. Okay, and I thought the bottom needed a little extra, so I'm going to add some more of the four-point stars here on those circles. And lastly, I'm going to take this really thin silk satin, I don't know, very shiny black ribbon, and I'm going to tie it in a tiny bow. I'm going to make sure it's nice and tight. position it where I want it and then I'm going to trim these edges off and to stick it onto the card I'm just going to use some regular um, craft glue um, mini glue dots would be a little bit too large for this and I this works just fine And then I've also decided to take the last, the trimmings off the ribbon, and I've decided to put them underneath the star there, so I'm going to glue those down too. And I was having a little trouble positioning them with my fingers, so I decided to use the um, rub-on tool. So I make sure it's where I want them in there, pressed down nice and firm. All right, there you have it. Here is the You're Such a Pretty Bitch card. <laughs> Makes me laugh every time I say it. I just, you know, every once in a while I get in a mood where I'm just like, I want to craft, but I feel angry. <laughs> and this one, I wasn't angry. I just saw that pretty and it inspired. So here's the card. Hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Please leave a comment and rate the video. Please. Maybe, maybe not. Please? Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> if you. If you want the dimensions and the supplies I used, please check out my blog, and I'll have a link posted here.